until it's kind of a milky white. Next, we'll take the pH indicator solution that comes with the kit and add three drops and mix it together. Now, notice the color change here. According to the color chart, this is acidic. So, we'll take a measured amount of the titrant and slowly mix it into the sample cup until the color indicates a pH of around eight or nine, kind of a bluish green. The amount of titrant you used is then compared to the chart for the size of batch you're gonna make. And that gives you the amount of lye that you're gonna need to use with this oil. See, that's pretty simple. Now all you have to do is measure out the amount of lye and then mix it with the methanol in the premix tank. Now make sure all of the lye is dissolved in the methanol or you'll just end up making a big mess and have to start over. Okay, now it's just a matter of mixing this all together. And to do that, just open the valves and start the pump. The premix will be drawn into the main tank as the oil recirculates. Now once the two components are blended together, it all needs to mix for an hour. So just reset your valves, set the timer, and take a break. Basically, what's happening here is the lye will break apart the oil molecules. Then the hydrocarbon chains from the oil molecules float over and bond to the floating methanol molecules and form biodiesel. Then the lye and glycerin also bond together and they form a goo that sinks to the bottom. And that we'll just throw away. All right, once everything is properly mixed, you just let it sit for a few hours. That allows all the glycerin to settle to the bottom. Now, obviously, you don't want that in your fuel, so all you have to do is drain it out. Now, notice how dark and thick and gooey the glycerin is. You can actually make soap out of this stuff if you want to. Now, just keep draining until the light amber biodiesel comes out. And that is it. Now, believe it or not, you can pour this stuff right out of here into your fuel tank, or you can take this process one step further and water wash your fuel to make it super clean. And this machine has got all the hookups to do that. But either way, you're looking at about 20 gallons of biodiesel. Now, come on, just how good is this stuff? Is that really gonna run an engine or did we just create some sort of fast food bio sludge that's gonna clog everything up? You're gonna find out after the break. Hey, welcome back to Trucks, and one of the craziest shows we have ever done, because I have just taken old, nasty, used cooking oil and supposedly turned it into usable diesel fuel with this machine that we got from Freedom Fuel America. But now, the moment of truth. Is cooking oil a real alternative fuel source, or is this just a bunch of hogwash, you know, an urban legend? Well, there's only one way to find out. We need to put this in a truck, but not just any truck. No, it needs to be a real truck, that truck. Yeah, this is a 2001 Dodge Ram, and it's got all the good stuff. It's got the Edge power module for extra power, killer KMC aluminum diesel wheels, and big, fat Nitto tires. Yeah, this is a nice rig. Now, I know you're thinking, wait a minute. You're gonna fill that truck with this bunch of bio goo and expect it to run? Well, yeah. Matter of fact, I have completely drained the tank, so the only thing in here is gonna be this bio goo. Because the point here is to show you how good biodiesel is and if it'll perform. Running down the road, the truck sounds and feels the same, but it doesn't smell the same, and we're getting noticeably less smoke out of the tailpipe. In stop-and-go traffic, the rig is just as peppy and responsive as with petroleum fuel. And when it comes to full-on performance, <laughs> 
biodiesel will fry the tires with the best of them. Yeah, that's right. You don't have to sacrifice power and performance. Heck, the truck is actually running better. Matter of fact, the only real difference is cost. The biodiesel that this truck is burning only costs us about 70 cents a gallon to make. Yeah, 70 cents. <laughs> Now, guys, guys, are you grasping this? I'm talking about low price, performance, and reliability. And the best part is, it smells like a big French fry cooker going down the road. <laughs> this is awesome. But if you want to take advantage of all that free oil out there, you got to go to freedomfuelamerica.com and pick up one of those machines. Then you can make your own biodiesel. Now, since we're talking about doing your own home brew, this is something I know you're gonna like.